there folks, JD here. And today this is a slightly different unboxing video. This is an unboxing video of an infrared camera. So I thought I would do this in the dark. Hopefully this is coming out because for the minute I'm sat in a pitch black bedroom. Uh, so just to run over a couple of things first before we go any further, just to let you know the microphone on this camera doesn't work. It hasn't worked for me at least. This is the sound of the mic of this inbuilt microphone from this camera. <laughs> So the sound that you're currently hearing me talking is coming from my audio recorder. So don't be, don't think that this camera has got this audio quality because it doesn't. This is my audio record, uh, my audio record, my my task cam. Okay, so let's start off on this camera. What is it? Well, it's a small form factor camera that can record in normal light situations. Infrared can take photos as well. Now this camera has got a magnetic, uh, has got a magnetic back. So as I've done, as you'm sure you can see here, no hands. Uh, it's just attached to my TV on the wall in the bedroom and then I can just sit back and we can talk about it. The good thing about that little magnet is it is pretty strong to be fair. I, I, I didn't think it was going to be up to much but it is pretty strong. Now this camera is 1080p alone. It hasn't got a 720p option. It doesn't record in any other video resolution other than 1920 by 1080. It has a 30 frames a second uh, output. That's it. There's no 60, there's no 120 frames a second. That's it. It's only 30 frames. Which, if you're like me, I bought this for about £25, I think, from Amazon. And I only wanted it to see exactly what it was like on, on, on quadcopters. Because some of these lenses are, and some of these cameras are getting okay, are pretty good. Uh, and as as we saw with the Hawkeye Firefly a couple of weeks ago and I wanted to see what this guy was like. So picture quality, what does that look like? Well it looks like this. Now that was a photo taken in an artificially lit room. The photos themselves are okay. I wouldn't be using it as a pure photo camera though. There are a couple of, um, of good features for this. Obviously infrared is one of them. Another one is motion sensor. So if you have it on, as soon as it senses motion, uh, it will start recording. It also does loop recording as well. So if you just set this to record, if you plug it in via USB and then set it to record on uh, motion detector, then as soon as it does pick up any motion, it is just going to keep on recording and it's going to loop on that SD card. So you essentially are never going to run out of space. But if you want to keep your old videos, I would take the SD card out, archive them, clear the SD card, put it back in and start from fresh. So what do I think? Well, for the second, I've used it outside in a normal light setting. And I think it's okay. Now it doesn't have image stabilization. It is going to be, there's going to be jello all over the shop. But for a quadcopter, I think it would be okay. Or for a car, for a car, questionable. For a quadcopter, I think it would be okay. Now what I'm going to do over the coming weeks is we're going to try this on quads and on a couple of other things and see exactly how that goes. Uh, so for now, I just wanted to see exactly how this video would look and exactly how, what you would think of it. So let's just have a little bit of a closer look at this camera outside of this, well, pitch black setting. Okay so here is the box it comes in. Quite literally just says Sports DV. Very difficult to know from that what the make is. When you open it this is what you get. Small camera is inside in this little wrapped bag. Underneath the plastic you get this. So you have the following accessories. You have what looks like an iPhone uh, or an Apple um, SIM eject tool. You get that. You also get a micro USB cable for charging. No, sorry, you don't get a micro USB cable. It's a micro micro USB cable for charging. And then you get these adaptions which you can all put together and you can have your camera using the magnetic plate on the back. So just to show you where this sticker is, this is the magnet on the back here. So then quite literally it just sticks on like that. And then from there, there we are, there we are, put it on properly. From there, you can then angle this however you want it. See? And then obviously you've got to tighten it up using the, just 
moving this little uh, screw mechanism at the back there. But that's quite literally what it looks like. It's very neat, very tidy. That's everything you get in the box. All right then, folks. Well, this has been the camera. I hope you've enjoyed this little style change. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy recording.